Hello there. I'm excited to introduce you to the Pocket Decimal Board, which will enable you to explore the decimal system through numeration and the operations of addition, subtraction, and short multiplication. As soon as the Pocket Decimal Board loads up, you can immediately begin numerating and building numbers up to 9,999,999 and 999,999 millions. Simply tap a column to activate it, then use the add a bead and take a bead buttons to adjust the quantity. You can also tap the I in the upper left corner to use a row of cards to express the number in symbols as well. Tapping on any card will cycle it from 0 to 9. One other useful feature in numeration mode is the ability to cycle the label strip it will load with the decimal system labeled with number symbols, but a simple tap will cycle it to names, and another tap will switch it to fractions. One more tap will return it to number symbols. Numerating is lots of fun, but so is operating. When you have a number you would like to apply an operation to, you can tap the Operation Mode button to choose an operation. Setup for each operation is a little bit different, so I'll show you all three with the same number, 12 and 34 hundredths. Let's begin with addition. We'll just tap the operation button. And then tap the addition button. The board will prepare itself for a second addend. Notice that the first one appears in the cards at the top and a second eye has appeared. Tapping on this will allow you to see a second row of cards and to symbolize your second addend. Forming the second addend is the same as the first. Tap on each column and use the add a bead and take a bead buttons to attenuate the quantity. Let's add 56 and 78 hundredths. Once you are happy with the addend, tap the ready button and the board will move into solving mode. Notice that your addends have been pushed together and the second addend is now symbolized in another row of cards. That third eye that just appeared will give you another row of cards with which you can symbolize your answer. But first, we have some work to do. 10 or more beads is 10 too many, but we can take care of that by using the add a bead and take a bead buttons or the quick exchange button. Going in order from smallest to largest, simply tap a column and then tap the exchange button to perform an exchange. Once complete, you can symbolize your answer by tapping and cycling the cards in the third row. Sixty-nine and twelve hundredths. Fantastic! Now let's take a look at subtraction on the pocket decimal board. 
we will follow the same steps, forming a number on the board and then tapping the operation mode button. Choosing subtraction will immediately bring you into solving mode, as there is nothing to add, only to take away. The second row of cards has appeared again, giving you the chance to form your subtrahend, and the third row is available to symbolize your answer. Let's subtract 3 and 15 hundredths from 12 and 34 hundredths. Again, we can use the add a bead and take a bead buttons to manually perform the operation, and the exchange button for any borrowing that will be needed. Starting at the smallest category, we already need to do an exchange. A simple tap on the column we want to exchange from, and a tap on the exchange button will give us what we need. Then we can use the take a bead button to subtract. Once complete, we can symbolize our answer. Nine and nineteen hundredths. There is one more operation available on the pocket decimal board. Multiplication. Entering operation mode for multiplication will prompt you to choose a multiplier to apply to your multiplicand. Hmm. Let's use 4. Tapping the ready button will symbolize the multiplier under the multiplicand and automatically multiply your number as well as push it together, ready for an exchange analysis. You will also have a third row of cards to use to symbolize your answer. Let's see. With a bit of exchanging here and here, we now have 49 and 36 hundredths, which we can symbolize with the cards. I hope you have enjoyed this introduction to the Pocket Decimal Board. Best of luck in your decimal system explorations.